Albert. 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 Einstein! Mm. When a, 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 a character like Einstein comes along, you just go, this is probably the, the, the real kind of ultimate moment. Mostly because the fact that it's a ten-part series, it's not going to be trying to cram this extraordinary life into two hours of a film. You think you have all the answers? I want my ideas to be heard. But looking at footage, I can see as much Harpo Marx or Groucho Marx, because he could make reporters laugh, you know, and he became as famous as Charlie Chaplin in an era where, you know, Chaplin was globally well-known because he was in movies with intertitles. He could play anywhere in the world. But Einstein had shared a comparable level of celebrity as a theoretical physicist. You know, that's like, that's off the planet. Stand up for Germany. Peace cannot be kept by force. Albert. It's this grand epoch of, you know, history from the golden age of science at the end of the 19th century through tumultuous events of the First World War and the Second World War and totalitarian Europe and he's this kind of strange genius clown-like figure that happens to be the best, let's say, anti-hero that moves through that world. So it has kind of, for me, um, classical proportions to it. The past, present and future is but an illusion.